Hi, my name's Thomas Clow. I'm a beekeeper and I work for Cirrusail Beekeeping Supplies. Today we're going to be talking about using a cloak board in a queen rearing situation. So we've turned the hive around, we've put a foam in the entrance just to block the old entrance up and we've put the cloak board on without the uh, slide and we'll just leave the bees there for a few days just to settle down. Okay, so we're going to isolate the queen. Once we've found the queen, we put her under the cloak board in the bottom box. And once we've done that, we'll go up and we'll put the slide into the cloak board and isolate the top box. Once we've done that, we'll remove the foam from the old entrance and then the top box is going to be queenless. Now after 24 hours of being queenless, we will then put the grafted queen cells into the top queenless box and uh, the bees will then start developing the cells into queen cells. So after another 24 hours of the uh, cloak board plate being in, the bees have now started to develop these cells. Um, we will then remove the cloak board plate. This will make the entire hive queen right. We will then plug up the back entrance again with a sponge and this will allow the bees to create their queen cells as a supersedure situation and instead of an emergency cell situation. This makes the queens much better um, instead of an emergency situation.